Hey everyone, um, today we're going to be talking about movement and about um, and tactics. So movement, alright, so basically it's how you move your character in such a way that makes you as hard, as, um, hard to hit as possible. And then um, you just, you know, you can see currently I was doing spins. Basically, when it comes to movement, um, so there's your, your aim, I mean there's your, your aim and your movement all you know alter each other so basically when you move left your aim your, your cursor also moves left so when you're trying to when you're moving during during aiming at somebody you want to you want to move your cursor to the right if you're moving left see if I didn't move my cursor I'd be, it'd be moving to the it'd be moving with me but I move my cursor slightly to the right while moving left so I do this oh I didn't know she was okay so basically that's the that's the key with moving and um and aiming in third person you want to like i could right now i could be just standing still because she doesn't even notice me and then in here um same thing i don't even she's not noticing me so i'm just gonna like run straight he's noticing me though i'm gonna crouch i'm gonna start shooting his head and he's dead all right <coughs> so those are some basic tips about moving you just gotta like know what to do when you when you're being shot at or if you're not being shot at so if i wanted to against that other girl a more optimal thing would have been just staying still and shooting her of course i wanted to take the more proactive approach and um and move along with her another thing with moving is that if let's say one person is moving in a direction and you could be just moving the other direction just easily just be moving your mouse leftwards or something you can get basically this is something that you, you get used to over time so um, when it comes, uh, so th th basically that's what it, that's that's all you need to know about moving. I mean, there's a lot more to it. Let's see. I, I should be more fair and talk about more in-depth stuff. So, oh, hold on. So, <coughs> another thing about moving is that there's this there's this thing called spins that people tend to do. You've probably seen them do it a lot. Spins actually are are, are one of the hardest things to do when it comes to moving, actually, because basically. It really alters your aim. Like it just changes your aim in a level that you're not even used to. Probably, for me, it's always been tough. Like when you're spinning. Oh, hold on. So, oh my gosh, what's that standing still thing? So, basically, when you're spinning, your aim is, is like completely. I wasn't auto clicking. I was I was just shooting you normally. See, normal, normal shots. Okay, whatever. And then this is the wall, the wall hug. Basically, you just go right to the wall and you just shoot. Um, this works best, like if if you're fighting somebody and they're expecting you to to move around, and you just like hug the wall, and you just and you just you improve your aim, while um, you improve your aim while they while they might be psyched out. It's a, it's like a bet. So you're like you're hoping on the fact that they. Um, they miss your shots or they hit the wall next to you like you, you're basically they, they have to aim at you directly they can't just aim like around you and that's it sort of thing wait oh and this is this is also a tough part about aiming it's like oh look at that i just caught up from there so now i'm just going to try to like show you how some aiming tricks i mean some movement tricks that also help my aim out can't see him. Ah. Got you. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, there's the spins, there's the wall hug, and then there's standing still. So, let's 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 assume that somebody's there's two people down there, a target and, a, and an ally, and then they're both fighting each other. You don't you don't have to run around and, and like jump around and, and and shoot them. You can just like enhance your aim, give yourself a good aim, and just stand still and just shoot them. You want to deal as much damage as possible. And then once they take notice of you, then you can start, you know, once they start shooting back at you, then you want to start moving around. 
another one thing you want to do is it, let's say I have very, really low health. I have like one HP. I don't want to go out and attack them like this. I want to pop shot. So pop shot is basically, you know, you see that? You just point your cursor at them and flick it at them. And then you want to like, or you, you want to change it up. So if you want to like jump out of there, and then you want to just like pop, pop, and then jump. That's you want to randomize your pop shots. That's that's what you do if you have low health. Um, another thing with movement, basically um, <coughs> jumping. So jumping is like something you want to do sparingly. Like I, you you might see me do it a lot of times, but all at once. But like you, you want to like jump like. Um, like this, you wanna you wanna move around in a gradual, like a decent sized circle, like about this size. You just move around, like mix up your movements, do a spin, jump over here, jump over here, while trying to aim at them at the same time. Sometimes, sometimes you may just have to resort to just like pure um, running a straight line or jumping multiple times, just like what I sometimes do, just because of my position. But like you know. But, um, <coughs> there's, I mean, you, you see, right? You see how I was able to dodge some of those shots and just like jump around and then everyone's dead. They just, they can't hit me. And it's, it's good to always try to be as fast as you can. There are times, however, where you'll want to be, you want to walk just to calm your, just to like take a more precise approach. This is good for like long range if, if, they, if they're not noticing you. But of course, if you're at half HP and you, you just want to like, you want to take a more chill, like you want to do more damage. It's never good to stand still unless they don't notice you. And it's okay to walk if you have like a height advantage, or if, or or if they, um, you know, if they if they can't hit their shots as well, then you can just walk and just start hitting more of your shots. And then of course running is is the number one priority thing you want to do in prison life. Running is like, it's like the thing that saves m my life a lot in this game. Running and the, and randomizing my my movements. Sometimes you might not be able to randomize your move. I mean, sometimes a guy might be on your screen here, and he might be moving left and trying to get out of your screen, and you just don't have time to to take your, you know, right click and move your camera over to him. So then in that case, you just want to run the same direction as him, and maybe just like, 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 you know, spin spin your movements a little bit while keeping your your cursor on him, and and like matching movement with him. So all these things, you know, play a role in in. And moving now. Let's talk about tactics. So tactics is basically um, using your, basically knowing your map, knowing where you are, and then using your um, your surroundings to your advantage. So basically, um, here let's show you one one key example of that. Let me let me let's go to the uh, thing here. Ugh, get out of here. Okay, so let's go. We're, we're back in the, um, the room. Tactics, this is one great usage of tactics. Hopefully, your camera works, so sometimes this room doesn't work. So, tactics is basically like, okay, let's, let's assume a guy was here, and a guy was here, or and a guy was here. These, these are known as pop shot spots. So, basically, a guy would be right here. He'd be expect he'd be anticipating a, a cop coming out of here, and he'd just like pop out, shoot, and then hide back in this wall. Um, good way to counter it is if, if you, is if you go to the to the um, to the yard and then you come out and you go this way. You want to go this way and, and angle your camera, you know, according in accordance to where he's at. Another way, another place is these two places. So you want to rush is you want to come out of here. You want to go around, and he'll most likely be popping you, and then he'll try to retreat back in there. And you want to make a, a gradual loop around, and then basically you you can fight him from there. You can just like choke out, choke him out of his pop shots place. And another place is. If he's way if he's way back over here, you'll have to sadly just run over here, and then run all the way here, and then you can come over here to this wall and then just start countering him. But if you must, if you actually want a smart way, here's a nice trick. See, okay, wait, perfect example. Hold on, hold on. That guy, this guy right there. Look, he's just he's gonna go right to that wall and he's just gonna wait. That's not cool, right? Ah. Okay. Gotcha. So um, let's assume. Let me go around. Let me let me go show you exactly what I'm talking about. 
So let's say you just you just exited, you were getting pop shot. You you don't you don't want to have to fight them head on like like I was showing you. You don't want to rush them. They're too they're too good at pop shotters. You want to do this. This is a perfect tactic right here. This is how you counter those people. You want to go in this way and don't <laughs> don't go through this door because they they also have a brain and they probably are anticipating you to go around. So they'll be waiting at that spot over there. And and if you run over here and you run in a straight line, they'll pop shot you midway and you'll die. So you want to go over here, you want to take a more cautious approach, go over here to scout behind that wall right there and see if they're hiding because most likely they'll retreat or, or they might stay. Um, is she still here? <coughs> yeah so now you can use these spots to scout out. So look, right here, you can you can see he's 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 gonna hide there. You can also see the person hiding in the cafeteria. You can open up this door and attack them from here. And another tactic is you can come over here. You can open up, you can spy on them here, and you can just come out and attack them right here when they're when they're waiting right there. So these, it's it's great how how this game offers you like a like an opportunity to to um, counter pop shutters. Right now I'm in a pop shot position. I want to get that guy. And I just got him. I popped out. I got him. So those are just some tactics. Um, I mean, there's more. You want you, there's another tactic of basically um, being on top of the roof and having an advantage. So let me show you how that works. Let me, let's go show you. So I'm gonna go on top of the roof and I want to have a height advantage. Um, basically, giving yourself a height advantage allows you to to have it more easy. You can just aim downwards and then and you can start shooting them. It's it's like you know, let's say let's say there's a guy down there and you can just like have a height advantage. You can just point your cursor at him and. It'd be mu it's just much easier. He has to angle upwards and he has to shoot you from the sky, I mean from the bottom up. It's actually harder for him to hit his shots than it is for you to hit yours. That's why, and you also want to always like ambush people. So here's one good one. There's a guy in the cafeteria, right? And you just, you don't want to go, you don't even want to attack him from there. You want to sneak him. So perfect tactic, right? Let's say he's right there hiding in the wall. You're up in the roof. You just got to glitch in here. You glitch in here, hang on. Just gotta, I got to get a hang of this, hold on. Perfect, I'm in. So now I just glitched in from the top of the roof there, and then he's probably waiting right here, expecting me to come out or something, or expecting me for, to do something else. Boom, I just came in and I just attacked him. I can even surprise the guy who's, wa who's waiting in this wall. Okay, I just killed him and I can just like go right next to that guy next. Perfect, right? Let's see if I have another tactic. So a tactic for if somebody's in the cell room, they think they're protected, all right? They think they have, a, they have all the protection they need I think there's a tactic in here that, I, that I've seen a long time ago. You just go like this. I just gotta glitch into this cell room here. Hold on. Ah, is it, does it still work? Or? Uh oh. Well, I don't know how that, how that one works, but yeah. Hopefully, I taught you some stuff. That was movements and tactics. Um,